right, welcome back, everybody. Game two here at War Memorial Stadium. Let's take a look at how the builders line it up. In the field, we've got Connor Gregory in left. He moved over to the left for this game. Nate Erie in center. Jet Winslow's getting a start in right. Riggs Ellis getting a start again at third base. Cam Weston at second. Nolan Edwards at, I'm sorry, Cam's at short. Nolan Edwards at second. Hunter Johnson's at first. Carter Hayes is pitching. And Jeremy Harmon is doing the catching behind the plate. For St. Vincent batting, we've got the left fielder Davis followed by the second baseman Disso. De Urso is the DH and Peraz is uh, batting cleanup and playing first. Amatucci batting fifth, playing third. Evans is in right field. Lockwich is doing the catching. Hudson's in center and Hess is playing short. So, first two, one, one pitch, inside, ball two. So, two, one count here to Davis. And that ball is fouled away. Hits the roof over the grandstands. So strike two, the pretty day has turned into a cloudy afternoon. Cloud cover is pretty heavy right now. We're, we're praying and hoping that the rain holds off. Let's just get this game in before it starts raining. 2-2 two -two pitch, bounces in for ball three. So Davis has worked the count full. As Carter Hayes, the pitcher, Carter Hayes has a 2-6-1 ERA P off pitch, ball four. He gets to take his base. So Carter has a 2-6-1 ERA, a one with one win and no losses. He's appeared in four games and started one game. That one game he did start, he won. He recorded a complete game. I'm sure it was a seven-inning game. Because we play a lot of those. Not because I don't think the man can throw nine, but we play a lot of seven inning games. The pitch bunted, and it had a lot of English, and it went foul. So as we as we talked in the first game, we kind of left. I kind of wrapped it up quickly, um, but Nick Redman got the win. Throwing six six and a third innings. Gave up one run. It was earned. The pitch to throw over. He sa gets back safely. It was an earned run. He had four strikeouts. So, good outing by Nick Redman in the first game. Here at War Memorial Stadium. So Deso went uh, one for three, grounding into a double play, an ending inning double play in the first game. In his last at bat of the game, he fouled another pitch away. Runs the count to one and two. And that ball gets by Jeremy. And Davis moves up to second. I know. Builders already have an arm out in the bullpen throwing. That ball is struck into left center. Connor gives chase, and it's off the tip of his glove. That 
That'll bring up the DH. Anthony D'Urso. Right off the bat, the builders are in kind of a jam. That ball gets popped to shallow right, giving chase, and no one is there to make the catch. The throw is in, and he's out. And Jeremy's pumped. Jeremy's like, let's go. Come on, guys. A great throw by Nolan. Great tag by Jeremy Harmon to get the runner at home. And that ball was caught in, foul, in fair territory, just so all of you do know. Brings up Peraz, and Peraz went one for three as well in the first game. Was a single to left, or a double to left, maybe. I didn't know whether it was a single or a double. Counts quickly three and zero. Oh. And it's in for a strike. Carter brings it to the three one pitch high and tight for ball four. And that's going to get a mound visit by Coach Jones. Dawson Adams is out in the bullpen. He, he started throwing, then he kind of quit. So I'm not sure what the deal is here for, for Carter. Like I said earlier, I know Coach Jones talked about, um, let's talk to the team about doing the small stuff, playing small ball. Moving runners over. He also made mention that, guys, when you, when I pull you out, it's not because it's because I'm not waiting anymore. Uh, I guess in the past maybe he's giving guys a longer leash than normal and and that he's not going to do that. He's kind of said, I'm going to – if you're not being effective, you're not going to stay in. So it's nothing harsh. It's just, you know, we're out here to win games, right? So – he wants the best players on the field at all times to win that game. There's ball one. Pitch outside. Ball two inside. To Anatucci, the third, not the third baseman. Yeah, the third baseman. He went one for three in the first game, scoring a run, doubling in his second at bat. And there's the strike, his first strike of this at bat. Next pitch was a ball. Three and one. And that pitch is fouled away to run the count full. Three, two. Runners will get a head start on this pitch with two outs. 
Runners on first and second. 3-2 count. Two outs here in the top of the first inning. Builders really didn't want to want to be able to slam the door kind of and, and get out of this inning. It won't be on that pitch. And if Tucci draws a walk, And that ball is hit into center. Nate gets under it, makes the catch for the third out of the inning. That'll do it for the for this top of the first inning. We'll be back here on the Builder Baseball with Builder Baseball here on Builder Sports YouTube. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. All right, that'll bring up. Here's how the builders are going to line it up. Uh, just trust. Oh, Nate Yeary will lead off, followed by Cam Weston. Then Nolan Edwards, Russell Johnson playing first will clean up. Batting fifth is Jeremy Harmon, followed by Caleb Russell DHing this game. Riggs Ellis playing third. Winslow in right. And Gregory in left. First pitch, Nate sees as a strike. Second pitch is a ball. Third pitch is a ball. Here comes a 2 1, 3 1. And that one was in for a strike. They even run the count full. And ball four. So that'll bring up Cam West in the shortstop, number two. Cam. Cam went one for three in the first game. His first pitch is a strike. So here's the 01. And that pitch is grounded to the second baseman, and it looks like he bobbles that one. Kind of waiting on the official score to give it a score. 
of a hitter in air. That'll bring up Nolan Edwards to the plate. Nolan went two for three in the first game. And he pops that one to center. And it went over to center fielder's head. Yuri waited. He'll be on his horse. He'll score easily. Campbell score easily. And Nolan gets himself a triple. So they did score that a single for Weston. So that's two hits in the last two at-bats for the Builders. As well as two runs on that bases clearing, in air quotes, triple by Nolan. The first pitch that Hunter looks at is a ball. And I marked it. It's a strike. Second, second pitch in there is a strike. Hunter went one for two in game one and also had a walk. Swing and a miss there for strike two. Counts even at two and two. Infield's in, trying to prevent the third run from scoring. And that ball's hit into center. In on the charge of the center fielder. That throw is up the line. So Hunt, uh, Nolan scores easily on that sack fly by Hunter Johnson. I'll bring up number 14, Jeremy Harmon, the catcher for this game. He DH'd in game one. And in game one, he went one for three. Grounding out the second base and, and the third baseman. First pitch is a ball. Second pitch is a ball. Third pitch, and he hits that to the third baseman, picks it up, scoops, throws over to first for the second out of the inning. That'll bring up the DH for this game, Caleb Russell. Caleb caught the first game and went one for three. Struck out looking in his first at bat. Oh, I'm sorry. No, Caleb went 0 for 3. With a struck out looking, flew out to the second baseman and then grounded to the shortstop. First pitch was a strike. That ball's hit into left center field. That'll land and bounce and roll for a little bit. Caleb gets on his horse and turns for second, and he's in for a stand-up double. So that's a builder's third hit of the inning. I'll bring up Riggs Ellis. He went 0 for in the first game. 0 for 2. He had a sack bunt. You know, when I got back up here to the booth, I went down and saw Riggs in between games. Called him a slacker. He said he didn't want to talk about it. He hits that ball into center field. Coming in, it's going to drop. So he's going to get himself an RBI single as, as Caleb comes around to score. So 
Like I said, that brings up Jet Winslow playing right field. This is the eighth batter the builders bring to the plate this inning. Riggs said he didn't want to talk about it, and that honestly, when he said that, I had no clue what he was talking about. I was just trying to kind of play with him a little bit, call him a slacker. I get back up to the booth. I look at the score sheet from the first game, and I'm like, oh, I guess that's why he figured I called him a slacker because he went over, but that was not why. First pitch was a strike to Jet. Second pitch was a ball. And Riggs goes, swinging strike. And Riggs is in there safe for his. That's Riggs. Sixth stolen base of the season. He's now six for seven in the stolen base department. So the one-two pitch is coming up to Jet. And Jet taps that to the right fielder, makes an easy catch for the third out of the inning. But anyway, the builders still get four runs on four hits. No errors, one man left on base. We'll be back for the top of the second inning after this here on Builders Sports YouTube. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. Welcome back into War Memorial Stadium. Top of the second here. The Bearcats come up with their 8-9-1 hitters. So first up is Ben Hudson. He's playing center field this game. His first pitch he got was a strike, followed up by a ball. Sorry, it's the seven, eight, nine hitters. I think I said eight, nine, one. Third pitch was a ball. Two, one pitch. And that ball is hit and to Riggs. He scoops it up, throws across the diamond for the easy 5-3 put out. So that'll, I'm sorry. That's because I was off a name. Coming up is Ben Hudson. So that was Matthew Lockwich, the catcher for this game. So Ben looks at a strike as Carter's ready for the second pitch. And that ball is hit to right field. Jet took a step or two back, froze, came in, froze, and then came in a little more to make the catch out there and right. So that'll bring up the shortstop, Alex Hess. Alex went 0 for 2 in the first game. Grounding out to second and flying out to center field. His first pitch was a strike. He hits that ball to short. 
on the short hop. Cam scoops it up, throws over to first. That'll do it. Much quieter inning this go-round for the builders. No runs, no hits, no errors, no men left on base. We'll be back for the bottom of the third, bottom of the second inning. Right after this here on the Builders Sport. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom, and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII. All right, welcome back. Bottom of the second inning. Leading off for the Builders is the left fielder, Connor Gregory. Connor went 0 for 2 in game one. Flew out to the first baseman and grounded out to second. First pitch he sees is a strike. Uh, the bottom of the first was more of a inning we're accustomed to seeing out of the builders. Bringing up eight men to the plate, scoring about four runs. Kind of more or less what we like to see. As Connor grounds that ball between the sec short and uh, third baseman. He gets a single. So to bring up Nate Yeary to the plate. Nate walked in his first at bat and then came around to score a run. The top of the first inning. I'm sorry, the bottom of the first inning. So Nate Yeary's at the plate. And Nate pulls that ball down the third baseline, but it is just barely foul. Of course, I say just barely, and by just barely, I really mean like a few feet foul, you know, four feet. There goes Connor. As uh, Nate bloops that into center field, Connor will find his way to third base, and Nate will stay at first after he singled the center. Brings up Cam Weston, who singled in his first at bat and later came around to score. I know I said it kind of called for rain a little bit, but I'm wondering if it's semi-starting because I've watched the fans that were sitting in the lower, I'm going to say the lower boxes, move up under the awning. Other fans down the left field line have umbrellas out. First pitch to Cam was a strike. Then they threw over to first. Looking out my window, I can't see the rain, but I can see the effects of the rain. See water spots. Cam takes off on that pitch.
that was fouled away. 0-2 oh, count. High and inside on Cam for ball one. I know we talk about the weather, but, you know, I was on the field in between games, and actually I just felt like it had that smell. Y you know that smell. Like it's about to rain a little bit. Smell. Cam pokes that between short and third. Connor scores easily, and... Scarola holds up Yeary at third. We'll bring up the second baseman, Nolan Edwards. Nolan tripled his first at bat, knocking in two runs. Nolan steps in. As the Bearcats defense is in to, again, try to keep the runner from scoring on a ground ball. Won't matter because that ball is poked into center field, and that's going to score Nate Yeary. That's going to easily bring around Cam Weston. And Nolan Edwards is now up to four RBIs in this game, knocking in Cam and Nate in both innings. So that'll bring up Hunter Johnson, who had a sack fly to center field in his first at bat. Builders pouring it on in a way. Sorry for not keeping up with the score on the sh on the uh, stream. Hunters pulls that down the right field line foul. So Hunters looking at a one one count. Nolan over there on first base. Nolan Edwards is two for two in stolen base attempts. And that ball is tapped to second. Spun to get the lead runner. So they gunned down Nolan at second. Wasn't quite fast enough to beat that one out. Bring up Jeremy Harmon, who grounded out to the third baseman in his first at-bat of the game. His first pitch, check swing foul up over the wire for strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two. Turn it fire to first. Runner gets back safely. High and inside to Jeremy. One and two is the count. People walking by the camera. Outside ball two. Counts even. Counts even at two and two. 
Hunter Johnson on first. One out here in the bottom of the second inning. And that ball's hit in between second. Or I did it again. Short and third. So that'll bring the head coach of the Bearcats out to talk to the pitcher. Is he going to take the ball? Yep, and he takes the ball from him. So we'll come back and uh, introduce you to the new pitcher right after this word from Worley's here on the Builder Sports YouTube channel. The thing that sets Worley's apart is that our people here truly care. They're here because they love their jobs and they want to learn more. What I like about Worley's is the people. Uh, the team I work with every day. My favorite thing about working at Worley's is that it's more like a family. I mean, it is work, but it's not. They actually treat me like a person and not a number. And this is the first company where I really feel like I belong. Here at Worley's, it's a great atmosphere. Uh, they really care about the customers, really care about the employees. Uh, we do whatever we got to do to make the job right. like the team. Everybody's a team player. Um, all about doing the right thing for the customer, taking pride in your work. It's just overall a great company to work for. You know, we really do have an awesome set of guys. It's kind of cool. We got a great team. We have fun together from my plumbers to my air conditioning guys to my crawl space guys. Everybody like works together as a team. Um, they're just phenomenal. We have training programs. We like it when people come in they don't really know what they want to do and we're able to help them find a trade and do things such as like a paid for apprenticeship programs for HVAC, plumbing, electrical. Uh, we've sent people as far as Texas to also doing them here locally. We just truly like to see our people grow and succeed and get to the next step of their career. We want people here who truly aspire to be the best in their, in their fields. That'll bring, uh, so that brings in a new pitcher, number 17, Alex Polito, the right-handed pitcher. 5'9", junior, as Caleb Russell steps in to face him. Harmon and Hunter are still on Klings. Klingen Smith's book. Grounded to second. Scoop thrown to first. Moves the runners over. But that is the second out of the inning. So I'll bring up Riggs Ellis, the third baseman, who singled to center in his first at bat. First pitch he sees is a ball. Swing and a miss for strike two. Or, I'm sorry, strike one. Count is even at one and one. And 
That ball's hit right back up the middle. That should score two. Hunter Johnson is in. And the throw is cut off. So Hunter comes around to score. Harmon comes around to score. The Builders have put up nine runs in two innings. That brings the ninth batter to the plate, Jet Winslow. That pitch was high. That also finished the book on Klingen Smith. He pitched one and a third, gave up nine hits, allowed nine runs. All were earned. Or maybe not. There was a walk. So Jet has quickly worked a 3-0 count. Here in the, the bottom of the second inning. And there's the first strike of the at-bat. And he earned a walk. That brings Connor Gregory back to the plate. Where he singled earlier in this inning and scored. And he grounds that to the shortstop. He scoops and fires and gets them. But the damage is done. The builders put up five runs on six hits. There were no errors, and two men were left on base. We'll be back for the top of the third inning after this message here on Builder Sports YouTube. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. Welcome back in for the bot top of the third inning. Leading off the inning is the leadoff hitter, Jimmy Davis. The first pitch he sees is a ball. Second pitch is also a ball. That's in there for a strike. Outside ball three. Three and one 
is the count. Carter's got to do his best to be in the zone. And that ball's hit to the first, uh, to the second baseman, Nolan. Flips it over to Hunter Johnson for the first out of the inning. That'll bring up the second baseman, Mario Disso. He reached on an air in his first at bat. That first pitch is in there for a strike. Inside ball. Carter Hayes had a busy first inning. That ball's popped to left again. Connor gets under it and makes the play this time for the second out of the inning. That'll bring up the designated hitter. Number 23, Anthony D'Urso. I was saying Carter had a busy first inning. The bases were loaded. So the Bearcats loaded up the bases in the first inning and failed to push any runs across. That pitch is popped. Riggs calls everybody off. He's got it. Squeezes it for the third out of the inning. That'll do it for the top of the third inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, no men left on base. As the Bearcats go one, two, three. We'll be back for the bottom of the third inning here on Builder Sports YouTube. The USCAA provides our program exactly what they say, a chance for small colleges to compete. It's not really the playing field for everybody. All right, welcome back. There's a new pitcher for the Bearcats. Number 13, Cody May. In the top of the lineup, leads off for the Builders, Nate Yeary. He's one for one today with a walk and a single, two runs scored. First pitch is a ball. Second pitch is in there for a strike. That pitch got away from the catcher, ball two. Builders are trying to make quick work of this game, maybe. In there, as Yeary 
Hits that to left field. It's going to bounce. And he's going to easily be in for a stand-up double. So Nate year he's got a walk, a single, and a double in this game, too. And brings up Cam Weston, who has a single and a double. Scored twice. The first pitch Cam sees is high and inside for ball one. Cam's. Four for six for the day as a whole. With two doubles and a single. I'm sorry. He's three, three for five with two doubles and a single. This is his sixth at bat of the day. Between games one and two. Deary takes his lead. Cam pops that one to right field. I'm sorry, it's shallow right. Foul ground, the first baseman makes the grab. Nate Yeary stays put, brings up Nolan Edwards to the plate. I was not looking at the right lineup. Statement is still true. Nolan's Two for two today in this game, too. With a single and a triple, four RBIs, and a run scored. Nolan's looking to add to those numbers here now. First pitch he sees is a strike. Ball gets slightly away from the catcher, not far enough for Nate to move up. So the count's even at one and one. With one out. Nate faked the go. Popped again to the first baseman. And another easy grab. So Hunter Johnson comes to the plate with two outs, runner on second. He had a sack fly. The first inning grounded into a fielder's choice in the second inning. He scored a run. Here he is in the third. He sees strike one go by. Ball, low. Looks as though whatever rain there was has stopped. Here's the one-one pitch. Inside, ball two. Swing and a miss, strike two. 
And the wind's blowing out today. Kind of somewhat the dead center, looks like. Well, maybe not dead center, left center-ish. Flag's kind of blowing straight away from the pole from me. And Johnson gets that one up in the air into center field. Center fielder's under it, makes the catch, and that'll do it for the top, bottom of the third inning. The builders make a little noise. They get uh, no runs. They do get a hit. We'll be back for the bottom of the, or top of the fourth inning here on the Builder Sports YouTube channel. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom, and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII. All right, we have a pinch hitter, number 40, Austin Turpak. Pack, and he fouls that pitch away. Second pitch, outside, ball one. Three and one's account. And he earns himself a walk. That first pitch was in for a strike and a snap throw back to first. He's back safely. Three zero count. to a pinch hitter. Through 
3-1 is the count. And this is 76, Jacob Ald. That ball's hit sharply to short. It's over his head. Goes into left center. Runners are safe. Lead at first and second as it starts raining again. That brings up the right fielder, LJ Evans. That ball's hit into center field. Nate Yeary's getting back. It's over his head. Throw comes in. The relay to home, and he's safe. So now we have another pinch hitter, number 55. Nico Buffon. And that'll be it for Carter. So we'll step aside and we'll be back to War Memorial Stadium to introduce the new pitcher in just a moment here on Builder Sports YouTube. The thing that sets Worley's apart is that our people here truly care. They're here because they love their jobs and they want to learn more. What I like about Worley's is the people. Uh, the team I work with every day. My favorite thing about working at Worley's is that it's more like a family. I mean, it is work, but it's not. They actually treat me like a person and not a number. And this is the first company where I really feel like I belong. Here at Worley's, it's a great atmosphere. Uh, they really care about the customers, really care about the employees. Uh, we do whatever we got to do to make the job right. I like the team. Everybody's a team player. Um, all about doing the right thing for the customer, taking pride in your work. It's just overall a great company to work for. You know, we really do have an awesome set of guys. It's kind of cool. We got a great team. We have fun together. From my plumbers to my air conditioning guys to my crawl space guys, everybody like works together as a team. Um, they're just phenomenal. We have training programs. We like it when people come in, and they don't really know what they want to do, and we're able to help them find a trade and do things such as like a paid for apprenticeship programs for HVAC, plumbing, electrical. Uh, we've sent people as far as Texas to also doing them here locally. We just truly like to see our people grow and succeed and get to the next step of their career. We want people here who truly aspire to be the best in their, in their fields. All right, welcome back. New pitchers, Dawson Adams. Carter Hayes is still responsible for the runners at second and first. Adams has an 8.1 ERA. One win, zero losses, and five appearances. He's pitched 13 and a third innings. He's quickly gone to a 2-0 count. Three-zero. And they walked him with four pitches. Oh, my gosh. 
So that will bring up number 28, another pinch hitter. Be interesting to see where all these shake out into the field. TJ Boosie. Hopefully they're one for one changes in a way. So that first pitch was in for a strike. Second pitch was hit to third. Scooped up by Riggs, kind of bobbled and the runner's safe. So that'll bring up another pinch hitter. Number 53. Reed R Rochwall. Rockwall. The first pitch he sees is the ball. Second pitch is a strike. Still no outs here in the, the top of the fourth inning for the Builders. It's been a long one. They've had a pitching change, had some kind of lengthy at-bats. Third pitch is a ball. Here comes a 2-1 pitch. Inside ball three. And that ball's fouled off of Rockwell's leg. I'm sure that felt good. Runs account full. Three and two. So here comes the payoff pitch, and it hit him. So that'll bring up pinch hitter. Number four in a row, number 51, Devin Haywood. And that ball skips up there. Still no outs. Builders could really use a ground ball to the infield. Corners are in. Middle of the infield's about normal depth. Ball two. Can't buy a strike right now, it seems like. Here's a 2-0 pitch, 3-0. Builders do have an arm going in the pen. 3-0 pitch, strike. Strike two. All right, count is full. Bases are loaded. 3-2 pitch. Payoff pitch, here it comes. Fouled to the builder dugout. So we'll do it again. No outs.
St. Vincent's has put up three runs here in the top of the fourth. Ball four. And here comes Coach Jones. He's taking the ball, so that'll be it for for Dawson Adams. And we'll take it with him. We'll be right back to see who the new pitcher is here on the Builders Sports YouTube. The thing that sets Whirlies apart is that our people here truly care. They're here because they love their jobs and they want to learn more. What I like about Whirlies is the people. Uh, the team I work with every day. My favorite thing about working at Whirlies is that it's more like a family. I mean, it is work, but it's not. They actually treat me like a person and not a number. And this is the first company where I really feel like I belong. Here at Whirlies, it's a great atmosphere. Uh, they really care about the customers, really care about the employees. Uh, we do whatever we got to do to make the job right. I like the team. Everybody's a team player. Um, all about doing the right thing for the customer, taking pride in your work. It's just overall a great company to work for. You know, we really do have an awesome set of guys. It's kind of cool. We got a great team. We have fun together. From my plumbers to my air conditioning guys to my crawl space guys, everybody like works together as a team. Um, they're just phenomenal. We have training programs. We like it when people come in they don't really know what they want to do and we're able to help them find a trade and do things such as like a paid for apprenticeship programs for HVAC, plumbing, electrical. Uh, we've sent people as far as Texas to also doing them here locally. We just truly like to see our people grow and succeed and get to the next step of their career. We want people here who truly aspire to be the best in their, in their fields. All right, we're back. Jake Tiller is now the pitcher. And uh, number 44, Lane Gol Golkowsk Golkowski is the batter. That first pitch is a strike. Tiller's 3-0 and this season in three appearances with a 1-2-3 ERA. Seven and a third innings pitch total. His looking at a ball and a strike. Oh, one one pitch. High ball two. Again, the corners are playing in deep. The center defensive strategy is about normal depth. Kind of thinking a ball to the corners. Is going home. Anything up the middle like that one is turning two, except we don't get the second runner. That ball's popped out of play. As we have another pinch hitter, number seven. Jay Sean Taylor. Throw back over to check the runner.
So the builder lead has been cut more than in half in this half inning. With five runs being put up by St. Vincent. That ball's fouled out of pull, fouled down the third base line. Two and one is the count. He he gets some looking. So Tiller gets the second out of the inning by strikeout. That brings number 40, Turpak, back to the plate for this fourth inning. As he led off this mess, and he swings and fouls that one away. Ball. Infield's back to normal depth. Ball too low. Taylor kicks, pitches, ball three, inside. So Jake Tiller got the first pitch strike and since has thrown three straight balls. He kicks, he fires, and he swings. He hits that into left field, and Connor can't get there. One run is in. So that brings up 76. Jacob Ald. And he hits that ball way out. So that's a three-run shot for Jacob Ald, which ties the game. So that brings up number 33, LJ Evans, the only starter in the game for the Bearcats. And he hits the ball into right field, turns for a second, gets in. For his second double of the inning. So that'll bring up number 55. Nico Buffon, who walked and scored in his first at bat.
And that evens up the count at one and one. That's low and away for ball two. The builders have watched their lead just disappear in this game. Ball's popped up straight back and out of play. Strike two. Counts even two and two. Now it's full, three, two. So the runner will get a head start on this three, two pitch with two outs. And that ball is popped up. And Hunter, I, I have no clue who actually caught it. I guess Tiller did catch it. But that'll do it. So the Bearcats scored nine runs on five hits. There was one error, and they left one on base. We'll be back for the top, bottom of the whatever, fourth. In just a moment here on Builders Sports YouTube. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. All right, welcome back for the bottom of the fourth inning. So like I had mentioned, kind of brought it up. Hopefully they were all one for one straight outs, which it looks like they were as far as in the field goes. Basically, everywhere they batted, they batted for the position they were going into. So that brings up Jeremy Harmon. He's one for two today. In this game, way back when, when uh, we were hitting the ball. First two pitches are balls to Jeremy. Swing and a miss, strike one. Jeremy pops that to first base foul ground, and it is land safely on the ground after it goes off the first baseman's glove. Make it a 2-2 count. So 
Harmon's looking for the 2-2 pitch. And he fouls that one off again. And it's going to get out of play down the right field line. So here's a 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. So that'll bring up number nine, Caleb Russell. There's also a new pitcher in the game. I don't think I mentioned that. L, no, Andrew Stano is the new pitcher for the Bearcats. That pitch skips up there. Ball one. Ball two. Swing and a miss, strike one. Two on pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. Got to go back to the small ball, guys. Base hits. String them together. Fouls that pitch away. Once again, the 2-2. Two -two. He is set up so far outside, it's not even funny. Three and two. Three, two pitch. Bring Riggs Ellis to the plate. The third baseman. Riggs looks at strike one. Fouls that pitch away, strike two. So Riggs is quickly down in the count, 0 and 2. Low ball. One, two, count. High, ball two. Evens it up, two and two. Riggs looking to extend the inning here. And fouls that pitch away. So we'll do this 2-2 count again.
And he hits that into very shallow right. And the second baseman catches it for the third out of the inning. So that'll do it for the builders in their half of the inning. We'll be back for the top of the fifth inning here on Builders Sports YouTube. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom, and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina, and I work for HII. Welcome back to War Memorial Stadium for the top of the fifth inning, leading off. Is the center fielder, T.J. Boosie. He's got himself a 1-2 count now. First pitch was a ball, second pitch was a strike. Third pitch was golfed into center field. Nate Yeary is under it, makes a grab for out number one. Which will bring, which will bring up number 53. Was it Reed? Yeah, Reed Rockwell. He looks at ball one. And his second pitch is hit into left field. Connor's under it, makes the play. So that brings us back to the top of the order, number 51. Devin Haywood. First pitch he sees is outside for ball one. Second pitch is in there for a strike. Check swing, asked for help, said he didn't go. Two and one's account to Haywood. And that ball's hit and bounces and lands in left field for a single. So 
So that'll bring up the second baseman, Lane Golkowski. Number 44. He grounded into a fielder's choice his first at bat. Later scored. Throw back to the runner, he's safe. As Tiller came back out for his second inning of work. Builders have a couple arms. Throw back over again. Hunter thought he got him. Two one. Check the runner again. One one count. Strike two. Pitch was high. But Lane fouled it off to stay alive. One, two, pitch. Runner goes. Swung and missed, but the ball hit the front of the plate. So that'll bring up the DH number seven, Jay Sean Taylor. He struck out looking in his first at bat. Uh, he fouled his first pitch away. Second pitch was a ball. Third pitch is fouled away. One and two is the count. Tiller trying to get out of this inning. Little bit of noise on the base pass. Runner on first and second. Jake Taylor delivers. Almost got him. Counts even at two and two after that pitch. And then snap throw down to second. Big swing and a miss for strike three. That'll do it for the top of the fifth. No runs, one hit. Two runners left on base. We'll be back for the bottom of the fifth here on Builder Sports YouTube. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. 
I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. Welcome back in here to War Memorial Stadium. Jet Winslow is going to lead off the inning. He's 0 for 1 today. He flew out to right and walked in his last at bat. First for the day, the uh, same pitcher is on the mound for... Well, the first for this game, we have a repeat pitcher coming out for a second inning of work. Jet looks at the first pitch as a strike. Jet swings and fouls that ball off well out of play on the right field line. O2 oh, pitch. Singled back up the middle. Shortstop gets it. And they say he got him. That was a bang-bang play. Good stretch by the first baseman. All right, that brings up the left fielder, Connor Gregory. First pitch he sees is high for ball one. That pitch is fouled back out of play. Two and one is the count. Three and one. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Three two pitch. Fouled off. Payoff pitch, and he takes his walk. So Connor 
patient at the plate, fought off a couple pitches, and is rewarded with a walk. So that'll bring us to the top of the order with Nate Yeary. Who has walked, singled, and doubled. First pitch he sees is outside, ball one. And his second pitch is in there for a strike. Connor takes his lead at first. Nate stands in, inside ball two. The two one pitch, turns and checks, fires the first. Connors back safely. Pitcher had something on his wrist. Coach Jones pointed it out. Two one pitch is low and away for ball three. Rewind, fouled away. Full count. Payoff pitch to Nate Yeary. Connor goes, and it hit Nate anyway. So I bring Cam West into the plate. One for two, I'm sorry, he's two for three in this game with a single and a double. So Builders got runners at first and second with one out. Cam Weston at the plate. Inside, ball one. High and inside, ball two. And the pitch gets away from the catcher. Runners move up a base. Two zero count to Cam, and Cam hits that ball high into left center field. It's over, ground rule double. Does that ball bounces over the wall? As Cam, it's a ground rule double. Scoring Connor and Yeary.
brings Nolan. Nope, we're going to have a pitching change. So we'll step aside, let the pitcher get a few warm-up tosses in, and we'll be right back to War Memorial Stadium on Builders Sports YouTube. The thing that sets Whirlies apart is that our people here truly care. They're here because they love their jobs and they want to learn more. What I like about Whirlies is the people. Uh, the team I work with every day. My favorite thing about working at Whirlies is that it's more like a family. I mean, it is work, but it's not. They actually treat me like a person and not a number. And this is the first company where I really feel like I belong. Here at Whirlies, it's a great atmosphere. Uh, they really care about the customers, really care about the employees. Uh, we do whatever we got to do to make the job right. I like the team. Everybody's a team player. Um, all about doing the right thing for the customer, taking pride in your work. It's just overall a great company to work for. You know, we really do have an awesome set of guys. It's kind of cool. We got a great team. We have fun together. From my plumbers to my air conditioning guys to my crawl space guys, everybody like works together as a team. Um, they're just phenomenal. We have training programs. We like it when people come in and they don't really know what they want to do and we're able to help them find a trade and do things such as like a paid for apprenticeship programs for HVAC, plumbing, electrical. Uh, we've sent people as far as Texas to also doing them here locally. We just truly like to see our people grow and succeed and get to the next step of their career. We want people here who truly aspire to be the best in their, in their fields. All right, welcome back. The new pitcher's number, I don't remember, 24. Tequila. It's a song being played in the stadium. So the new pitcher is Christopher Raymond. Where's number 24? Song. Makes me think of the great movie uh, Sandlot when I hear it. What a great movie that was back in the day. So Nolan Edwards is up. Fresh count. And he fouls that pitch away. Nolan hits that ball to right center, and it's caught. So that'll bring up 21 Hunter Johnson. Hunter's uh, la la la. One for, no, Hunter's is actually over because he grounded into a fielder's choice. But he grounded into that fielder's choice and then scored, so it's okay. We'll we'll give him a pass. So two down on the builders. There's a strike. One on one's a count. Low and two balls.
pulled that one out of play for strike two. Going back to the song they were playing as the pitcher warmed up. There's just those songs that take you back to different places. Some take you to movies. Some take you to, you know, literal places where you were when you heard it, what was going on, memories. Sandlot was definitely one of my favorite movies growing up. Fouled that pitch out of play. I was a big sports movie kid, actually. Sandlot, Little Giants, Little Big League, Rookie of the Year. Major League. That ball's rifled up the middle. That's going to bring in Cam as Hunter gets himself a single. That'll bring up Jeremy Harmon, the catcher. He's one for three today with a strikeout, grounded his third. And singled to left center. First pitch is a ball. Second pitch is in there for a strike. One one pitch. Ball two. One outside, got away from the catcher. Hunter moves up. Three and one. Strike two. All right, Jeremy's ready now. He's got a full count. And he lines that one into center field. Hunter comes around to score standing up. So that brings the DH, Caleb Russell, to the plate. Caleb's two for three in this game with two singles. And Caleb, ah, nah, we won't talk about Caleb's game one. No, no need there. Just say he's righted the ship in this game, too. Let's just say that. That first pitch is in for a strike. Well, he's one for two in this game. Maybe not quite righted the ship. That's another pass ball. Wild pitch. That'll move Jeremy Harmon to second.
Pitch was low for a ball. Two and one is the count. Low ball three. Builders got Riggs Ellis on deck. Jeremy Harmon dancing out there at second. Outside, ball four. So that'll bring up Riggs Ellis. The third baseman, number 15, Riggs. Riggs is two for three for the game. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong line. However, we got a pitching change. So we'll take it with them. And we'll talk about the new pitcher a little bit when we get back here on the Builder Sports YouTube. The thing that sets Whirlies apart is that our people here truly care. They're here because they love their jobs and they want to learn more. What I like about Whirlies is the people. Uh, the team I work with every day. My favorite thing about working at Whirlies is that it's more like a family. I mean, it is work, but it's not. They actually treat me like a person and not a number. And this is the first company where I really feel like I belong. Here at Whirlies, it's a great atmosphere. Uh, they really care about the customers, really care about the employees. Uh, we do whatever we got to do to make the job right. Like the team, everybody's a team player. Um, all about doing the right thing for the customer, taking pride in your work. It's just overall a great company to work for. You know, we really do have an awesome set of guys. It's kind of cool. We got a great team. We have fun together. From my plumbers to my air conditioning guys to my crawl space guys, everybody like works together as a team. Um, they're just phenomenal. We have training programs. We like it when people come in. They don't really know what they want to do and we're able to help them find a trade and do things such as like a paid for apprenticeship programs for HVAC, plumbing, electrical. Uh, we've sent people as far as Texas to also doing them here locally. We just truly like to see our people grow and succeed and get to the next step of their career. We want people here who truly aspire to be the best in their, in their fields. All right, the new pitchers. Yeah, where'd he go? Josh Daly into face. Riggs Ellis. The first pitch he sees is a ball. Popped into the center booth during those warm up pitches. It's a balk. He lifted his leg, but didn't go anywhere. So that'll move the runners up to second and third for Riggs. And Walker McCreary, the SID here, asked about Kirk Cousins' new contract because he couldn't remember seeing anything about it. He looked it up. Kirk Cousins signed with the Atlanta Falcons. If you hadn't heard, that ball's fouled just to my right. For four years, 180 million and 100 millions guaranteed. And in my least humble opinion, Kirk Cousins is the most overpaid quarterback in the NFL. Ball two. Two and one's a count, two outs. And Riggs pops out one foul out of play for second strike. Coming out of college, I remember Cousins uh, coming out of Michigan State. I felt he was a decent quarterback at Michigan State. I actually felt he was a better quarterback. quarterback and that ball gets 
hit to second base, scoops up, throws over to first for the third out of the inning. Builders do some damage, though. They put up four runs on a few hits. One, two, three. On three hits. No errors. And two left on base. We'll be back for the top of the sixth inning in just a moment here on Builders Sports YouTube. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. Welcome back. Justin Bradshaw's in the pitch. If you remember, if you were with us with game one, he closed out game one. He, he threw the last uh, two outs of game one. So he's back up to pitch again in this game here in the top of the sixth inning. Pitching uh, due up is... Turpic, the first baseman. The first pitch he sees is a ball. Second pitch was a strike. Going back to the Kirk Cousins thing. Felt like Cousins was the better overall quarterback when the Red. Redskins at the time, the Commanders now drafted him out of Michigan State over RG3. RG3 was definitely the better athlete. And that ball is hit to right. It gets through. Turpix rounded first. He's going to be standing on second with a double. Not saying Washington made the wrong pick with RG3. I mean, I guess in the long run, you could say it was the wrong pick, but hindsight, right? So that brings all to the plate. He fouls the first pitch away. Major League Baseball getting ready to start up in a couple weeks with their regular season as they're all out in Florida now and Arizona for spring training. Kind of looking to see what my Braves will do this season. Hopefully they'll keep up with what they've been doing on the diamond. Two and one's account. Inside, ball three. Inside, ball four.
So that'll bring up the right fielder, LJ Evans. Again, the only starter still in the game. For St. Vincent's. As Jeremy Harmon goes out to the mound to talk to Bradshaw. First pitch is a ball for Evans. Bradshaw throws a strike there. It's even the count at one and one. Ball's fouled away for strike two. We'll be back at it again tomorrow here at War Memorial Stadium. Same times, one and three, I believe. Balls popped to left. And it dropped in. Yep, tomorrow same same times here at War Memorial Stadium, 1 p.m. and a 3 p.m. start. Well, 3-ish p.m. All depends on when that first game does end. First pitch into number 55 Buffon was a ball. Builders have a couple, have an arm out there in the pen throwing. Second pitch was a strike. Looks like Isaac McAllister. Ball two. Infield. Just like before, when they've been threatening, the corners are in. Middle of the infield's kind of double play depth-ish. That ball's fouled towards the builder dugout. Two and two. Bradshaw the righty. Toes the right. The first base edge of the rubber. His, his kind of sidearm delivery, sub, submarine-style delivery. Pitch was fouled away. Two and two is the count. Again fouled off. Bryce jumps to not get hit. And that pitch hit him. So the builders are, are kind of just shooting themselves in the foot, it feels like, in this game. St. Vincent's only has eight hits. I mean, I know I'm saying only. They've scored ten runs. I feel like a lot of those runs have been scored off of walks or hit by pitch. I mean, they had the three-run homer. First pitch was fouled away by T.J. Ducey, number 28. That pitch fouled again.
Oh, and two. This would be a good spot for Bryce to try to, not Bryce, I'm sorry, Justin Bradshaw to try to expand the strike zone a little bit, see if he can get Ducey to chase something. He doesn't need him to chase it because he just uh, got him looking. So that'll bring up Reed Rockwall. The shortstop. And that pitch is in there for a strike. Reed was hit by a pitch and grounded, I'm sorry, and flew out to left field. His two at bats of this game. Six, four, three, double play, twin killing. So, one run is all the damage they get. We'll be back for the bottom of the sixth inning. They got one run on two hits. Three men left. We'll be back after this on Builders Sports Network. The USCAA provides our program exactly what they say, a chance for small colleges to compete. It's not really the playing field for everybody. Sixth inning, the Builders trying to pull this one off. Complete the sweep for the day. I don't remember what Ellis did, but Ellis did finish the last inning. ground to the second. So that brings Jet Winslow to the plate to lead it off for the Builders. And then Connor Gregory and Nate Yeary. So here's Jet. First pitch he sees is high, ball one. Second pitch is also a ball, low. Pop to shallow right, right fielder comes in, almost overran it, but makes the play for out number one. That brings Matt Phoebus to the plate. Hey, pinch hitting Matt Phoebus. Matt Phoebus hits the ball in the left field, gets a single. Brings up number zero, center fielder Nate Yeary. Nate's 
uh, uh, two for two in this game. He walked, single doubles, and been hit by a pitch. First pitch he sees is a ball. Strike. Second, third pitch was a ball. Strike. Ball, strike. Ball, strike. Sometimes you just kind of feel like it's that kind of at bat, right? And that ball is hit into left center. Center fielder coming on, makes the catch, and Phoebus rushes back. That's two outs in the inning. So it'll bring up Cam Weston, the shortstop, number two. Cam looks at a ball. Throw back to first. Phoebus gets back safely. Inside, ball two. Just ignored a phone call from my wife a minute ago. That was inside for ball three. Messaged her back immediately. Told her the game was still going on. Still got work to do here at War Memorial Stadium. However, I now have plans for dinner, which is awesome. Get to go hang out with my son and his wife and the, the two grandbabies. We'll go enjoy some sushi for dinner. As Cam gets his walk, and that brings the coach out to the mound. The way the dugout is congregating, looks like his day is done. So, we'll be back in just a minute here at War Memorial Stadium, and I'll introduce the new pitcher then. We'll be back here on Builder Sports YouTube. The thing that sets Whirlies apart is that our people here truly care. They're here because they love their jobs and they want to learn more. What I like about Whirlies is the people. Uh, the team I work with every day. My favorite thing about working at Whirlies is that it's more like a family. I mean, it is work, but it's not. They actually treat me like a person and not a number. And this is the first company where I really feel like I belong. Here at Whirlies, it's a great atmosphere. Uh, they really care about the customers, really care about the employees. Uh, we do whatever we got to do to make the job right. Like the team, everybody's a team player. Um, all about doing the right thing for the customer, taking pride in your work. It's just overall a great company to work for. You know, we really do have an awesome set of guys. It's kind of cool. We got a great team. We have fun together. From my plumbers to my air conditioning guys to my crawl space guys, everybody like works together as a team. Um, they're just phenomenal. We have training programs. We like it when people come in. They don't really know what they want to do and we're able to help them find a trade and do things such as like a paid for apprenticeship programs for HVAC, plumbing, electrical. Uh, we've sent people as far as Texas to also doing them here locally. 
We just truly like to see our people grow and succeed and get to the next step of their career. We want people here who truly aspire to be the best in their, in their fields. We're back. Number 19 is the new pitcher. Joseph Burke. Out of Grays Lake, Illinois. So that brings up Nolan Edwards to the plate. Nolan is... Uh, Two for four in this game. Inside. Uh, runners on first and second. Two outs. Nolan grounds that straight to the shortstop. Flips to first for the out. That'll do it here in the bottom of the sixth. Bearcats three more outs to work with here at War Memorial Stadium to try to pull this thing off. We'll see if they can do it. After this, we'll be back here on Builder Sports YouTube. Bayport gives away $100,000 in tuition assistance. Our scholarships are special because we not only allow funds to be applied to colleges and universities, but also trade and vocational schools. The submission deadline for all scholarships this year is a close of business on March 31st. Please share this opportunity with family, friends, students, and colleagues. Like, share, or comment on social media. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII, building the most powerful ships in the U.S. Navy. The digital technology I use is a generational change in the way that we build ships, making the construction of aircraft carriers more efficient. Plus, I get to work with veterans. Thanks to them, we all have our freedom and we need to work hard to keep it. I am Fatima Medina and I work for HII. All right, welcome back. Bo top of the seventh. Bearcats down to their last three outs. Haywood, Golkowski, and Taylor do up. The one, two, top of the order. One, two, three. Builders looking to get these three quick outs and head out. It's the same. Go be like a baby and head out. Right, because the baby goes head first out. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, no, it's not funny. First pitch to Hayward is a ball here in the top of the seventh. Builders looking to extend their record to 22 and 3. Just taking a look at the records from the last two seasons. So I was looking at Coach's record. So the Builders, uh, you know, Ben, Ben Jones, the Builders head coach, has been here. This is his third season with the Builders. I know in a way sometimes it seems longer than that. Uh, and he's 74 and 37 as a whole over the last two and a half seasons. Two and two is a count. The Builders went 26 and 18 in 2022. That ball is foul. Just foul. Builders in uh, 2022 went 26 and 18. It's the same season they, they won the USCAA National Championship that year. Last season, 
may come as a surprise. They went 28 and 16 and did not even get a bid to the tournament. There's probably some good reasons for that because they did not show well at the conference tournament. Ball was hit to center field. Nate Yeary makes the grab for the first out of the inning. Puts the pair of cats with two outs left and brings up number 44, Golkowski. And now this year, they're 21 and three. With half of March and April to go still in the season, big swing and a miss for strike one. As the builders, as the baseball team looks to, to do what the basket, men's basketball team did. Inside ball one, go out there and win a national championship. Be the, I believe the first time for the builders since the 0102 season where teams, two teams would win a national championship. That year it was the men's and women's basketball teams winning national championships. One and two is the count. Swing and a miss, strike three. Got him swinging for the second out of the inning. Which brings up a pinch hitter, number 26. Dalton Nicolo. He was the pinch. He was the DH in the first game. This first pitch is a strike that he sees. In the first game. Nicolo went over, struck out twice, and flew to flew out to the shortstop. So second pitch was a strike. So we got a 0-2 count. Ball. So they are down to their last strike of the game are the Bear Bearcats, and that pitch is fouled back to the screen. So the one-two pitch coming. Swing and a miss, strike three. That'll do it. The Builders take care of the Bearcats. In game two, they take care of the Bearcats 13 to 10. So the Bearcats score 10 runs on six hits, eight hits, I'm sorry, and no errors. The Builders score 13 runs on 15 hits and commit two errors. So the Builders take game one and two, in essence of this four game series, they'll repeat it tomorrow. Like I said, at games, game times are at one and three here at War Memorial Stadium. If you can make it out, That'd be awesome to see you here, see more, see a few more fans in the stands. It'd be great for these guys to see that. If not, check us out here on the Builders Sports YouTube channel, uh, the Builders Sports Network, basically. It's where all we stream all our live sports, as well as put post-game press conferences, post-game interviews, uh, interviews with coaches, anything we can to help promote our athletes. We're going to use this channel for that. So, with that being said, we're... My name is David Davenport for the first and I believe and last time today. Signing off from War Memorial Stadium. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow here on Builder Sports YouTube.